Run them out, push them out, then they make them shut them out, clip their wings, put them down, let them know who run the route. Man as them, pressure them, give them pain, won't be the same. They'll assign love to hear the fans them say how they love their triple K. Boom, too fair, too fair, too fair. It's your boy Mr. Benji and you're watching Cranberry TV because she always keeps it 100%. Manners. Well, um, Ben, she's a nickname given to me from since probably grade 5 or grade 6, so I'm about. Um, when I attended the Rose Boys School, but a good friend of mine named Show in Blaise, um, um, because my last name, of course, is Benjamin, so she was shortened for Benji. Um, N2O came about because I love speed um, with bike or fast cars or airplanes, and I'm fascinated by nitrogen oxide, um, which is NOS, they use them in fast cars and so on. So the formula for nitrogen oxide is N2O. So I decided, you know, seeing that I move so quickly and swiftly, why not just add an N2O to it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I would say Benji and is a very humble, down-to-earth type of individual, um, very helpful, very creative. Um, I think that's the way I would like to describe myself. Well, I have a lot of influencers. Um, God is the biggest influencer. Of course, because without him, I wouldn't have the talent that I would have to, you know, entertain people and, and make people happy. Um, when it comes to music, though, my main influences are, of course, Raw of WCK fame, WCK as a band, um, Marshall Montano as an artist. He, he's my biggest influencer in terms of his type of energy and movement on stage, his, his type of interaction to crowd and, and all of that. And I think if you watch my performances, you can see that that type of his influence on me. Um, um, Geoffrey Joseph, the manager for Triple K Band International, has a great influence on me. Uh, and I think he's the one that, that actually has, has everything together. You know, because everybody looks towards him for his leadership, his um, his humbleness, his his his, his um, his charisma, I should say. So yeah, Geoffrey is that type of person, and he has that type of influence on me. And of course, my mom. Yeah, because she's my motivator. She's the one every morning send me prayers, and you know you have to listen to mommy, because if you don't listen to mom, then you know what happens. <laughs> So she's my biggest influencer, and after her, my children. Yeah, they are my everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very interesting question, and, and first time I have gotten that question. Um, to describe it, I don't think I can describe it. I think it's just something natural, and it, it came from the Almighty. So you know, I think it's just something natural, but. Really and truly, it's, it's a mixture of different types of um, influences, if I should say that. Um, be it that of soca, be it that of, of um, jam band music, which is from the Virgin Islands. And, you know, of course, our very own WCK, the creators of Booyah Music. So I, I think it's, it's a, a complete mixture, but I also strongly believe it's, it's natural. Yeah. Um, I think the most I enjoy about it is the part of, of traveling because I'm a traveler. I love to travel, so that, that, that's the part I enjoy the most about it. Getting to go to places and seeing new people, meeting new friends, and, and I'm that jovial type of person. I like to get out. Um, um, Geoffrey just the other day described me as a, a, 
a socialist, so <laughs> that, that part about, about being an artist, yeah, I enjoy that part the most. The sleepless nights, the all that I travel about leaving right after a fete or a gig to get on an aircraft or get on a boat or um, going the long hours, the hard extra hours. Yeah. So, it needs to please the fans, but really and truly, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Falling off stage. Fell <laughs> off stage, yeah. Um, happened once in Maho, another time I think at Crazy Coconut Island Plaza, I think, where a fan, you know, just pulling on my leg, pulling on my leg, and then they, they, they pulled so hard that actually fell off the stage. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. Yeah, craziest part. <laughs> Tough question though. Um, but if I could change it, I don't think I would though. Um, I believe the current state is at a very good state and people just have to understand that everything evolves with time. And we would like it to be, you know, how it was when WC can serve me. Was the, the type of tempo, the type of maybe lyrical content, the, the type of groove. But we have to understand that times have, have changed, things change, times have evolved. And if you want to remain current, you know, you have to ride with the tides, you have to roll with the waves. And I believe, I don't think there's nothing I'll change. But um, with the music, what I would like to see change though is the, the appreciation and love towards our music. Because you see, the, the train is, you see, the Lucians um, of it, the Antigans, um, how they, they love and appreciate what is this. Doesn't matter what you know they produce, but they are proud and they call it theirs. They appreciate that it's theirs. They, they are that patriotic. And sometimes I, I, I think we as Dominicans, we are not that patriotic. We are not that appreciative of you know what we have. You know, I'm not just. Not just in music though, I mean, we're not appreciative of, of many other aspects of our art, art history. You know, the, 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 the folk singers, the, the jumping dancers, the jumping players, the, the, the quadril dancers, all of that. You know, what, the, 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 what makes Dominica Dominica? I think that we are not much um, patriotic as Dominicans and I believe if I could change that to just buy a one and you know, just flash out my one and have everybody be a little more patriotic. That's what I believe I would have changed. I chose music because it started at church actually. Because my mom was in the church choir and she was part of a, a church band named Tribute of, of Praise, Tribute of Praise, led by um, the late May Soul Rest in Peace. Um, Elisha Darampo, he, he was a pianist and a keyboardist and um, it's through them that actually grown and, and, and love music but another influencer uh, by name of Herbie Jack as well and you know um, they taught me the basics on keyboard and, and drums as well and you know from there my love for music you know it just grew and with Walkers, I, I forget to mention Walkers. Oh, I can't forget to mention Walkers. The original W in WCK, who is my neighbor, where I'm from in Fong Kone, Dominica. And when I got to, 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 to know that Walkers was a member of WCK, yo, that was the biggest thing, you know. And he, he played a, a very influential role in getting me into music. Um, so I think, yeah, it, it started off along that line, you know, from church then, WCK, Serenade, um, Jamban, Daddy Friday, May Soul Rest in Peace as well, um, Burning Flames, Effects, RSB, um, you know, Rough and Ready, 
and you go feel work with them. Um, so it, 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 the beginning basically started with them. And I think what really kicked off is when we, we formed our own bank in my community of Fongkole, um, the Ruthless, you know, made up of um, Sean Walsh, Iki Iwawa, um, Mikel Larrop, the Soul Racing Pace, um, Gav Jemot, aka SPD, was a former baseman for Triple K, and Jude, a guy named Jude from, from Bailey's, and myself, um, we formed Ruthless Bank. And, you know, from there, it basically kicked off from there with the help of, of guys like um, Enoch. Um, I, I think two, 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 two very names numerous to mention. Uh, and after that, though, I left and went and worked on the ship um, with Darius. I, I know everybody knows Darius. Dexter Pelzi, uh, former Calypsonian. He was the one who brought me on ship. And um, I worked with Carnival Cruise Lines for, for five years, five contracts, doing music. Then I came back. When I came back, I was introduced then to, to Kendall Laura, aka Kilo of Triple K. And that's when I joined Triple K. So when I joined Triple K, then everything really, you know, then it was just basically a shooting stuff from there. Yeah. But it really started from from church, then to Ruthless. Yeah. So. That, 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 that's what jumpstart my career. Mm. So many advice given that uh, I don't know which one is best, but but I think the, the one which, which stands out the most is um, I have to say it's from, came from Walkers telling me um, never give up, don't stop, yeah, because he, he will come. But don't stop. Yeah, and I think that that has been one of the best advice, and I I continue along that path. Yeah, so I'm here living off workers' advice. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, my biggest pet peeve. I really don't know it. Boy, it, it have many. I really cannot choose one. Because there are a lot of, of pet peeves that I have. Um, mm, I think I'd have to go by when I have a headache, any and any little thing irritates me. Yeah. So I think maybe that's my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> yeah. Well, my take on it is worry. You know, Boo has finally arrived. Um, I mean, like you mentioned earlier, it has been out there doing a thing for, for quite a while. Of course, you know, WCK producing so many hits. Um, but now you finally have the, 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 the Caribbean superstars, I like to call them that. The Marshall Mountain, who's the, the um, Skinny Fabulous, Iowa George, Wonji Gallen. Jumping on what we produce here in Dominica, you know, is, is, is definitely um, a worry, and I appreciate that. Nonetheless, um, I have my my um, of course, like everybody else, I have my my um, my, my 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 thinking, my different thoughts about it in terms of why not label it as bouillon instead of saying it's Soka 2020 when it's definitely a booyah, you know what I mean? So I have no problem with, with, with all the artists for the Jamaican, uh, Russian, the Grenadian, anybody for that matter. Or rap artists want to drop some bars on a booyah rhythm, you know? It's only best for, for us, you know? And it's, it's only best for the industry. But I have a serious issue when the music is labeled Soka and not Buyo. Because if you listen to it, it's definitely a Buyo and not a Soka. So I believe the, 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 the persons involved in, in getting it done that way, I think they should change it. Um, you know, um, 
The other thing I'd like to see happen is one day that the, the soccer artists, the, the, the superstars, recognize, hey, why not use a Dominican artist, the Issa Banzan, the Sherry's, no, not just me, I, I'd like to advocate for myself, yes, but um, I mean, the Kex Mafias, the, the Rios, you know, why not? You know, feature them too on a collaboration with, you know, on a boy reading. And I think if that happens, then, you know, it, is a, it has already set a, a positive platform outside. I believe if we're looking to elevate and, and they, as they say, they, they, they appreciate the Dominica rhythm, they, they appreciate the, 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 the Dominica vibe, which is Buya. Why not have a Buya artist? You know, collaborate. And I believe that deal then, then will make positive waves for, for Dominica and Buya music. Well, boy, that process, it takes, it takes a while, that process, because you never know really what you're going to come with next. Um, for instance, if I, if I may give an example, the year before I was still standing, the year after it was heat, and this year for me, for my biggest production is Fifi. And you never really know what's going to come because I myself be wondering but what, what's next for next year? <laughs> and you're going, where are he going to come from? But, um, Ever since I moved myself into painting my songs, I, I normally go on what I hear on the ground, what I gather from the block, what I gather, you know, from the everyday people, and what really kicks them, what really gets them going. So I use my artistic skills, you know, into putting that in, into song. Of course, with the help of, of Joffrey and Kendall, of course. You know, because majority of my songs I don't write on my, on my own. Some, you'll see, written by me only, but um, majority you'll find the input of, of Joffrey and Kendall. Um, Kendall sometimes, though surprisingly, comes up with, with choruses or chants, and then I'll just build around it. You know, that, that too helps me. Um, it, it gets my adrenaline rushing in, in that way when Kendall would say, hey, then two have a thing for you, listen to that. I'll be fine, yeah? I tell me about it like that, so run home and I pen something around it. Sometimes you get what you call writer's block and for like two weeks you stick with, you are stuck with two words and one name, but what's next for you? What's next for you? <laughs> and sometimes the, the simplest things um, by maybe switching around with melody, you know, can just kick off a new, a new writing stem. Um, you know, so really actually is the energy of everybody that gets it, the process going. At one point, my goal, my aim was to reach on current festival stage. <laughs> and, and I've been on that stage for, for more than 10 times, maybe 12 times, or 13, 14, I can't remember. I think 14, 14, yeah. But the first time I, was, I, was, I, I stepped on the current festival stage, my daughter was was um, was being born, yeah. So it's 14, yes. So 14 times on a current festival trip. To me, locally, is a, a big achievement because that's our biggest stage on island. And and any artist with dreams of wanting to be there and and make that a, a, a goal or a priority to be on current festival stage, I have to say that that's. That's a, a determination you, you're setting for yourself and, and you should go get it. Um, I think a Grammy, yes. That, that's one of my goals, to, to, to actually win a Grammy award. If it's gonna happen, I don't know. It's, it's um, all in God's hand. And if I live to see that day, then I'm very humble by it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm very humble by it. So that, that has to be my biggest goal. Well, my message to them has always been and will always remain, you know, stay positive, stay focused, um, continue to enjoy, 
Mr. Benji into productions, of course, Triple K by extension production. Um, stay out of harm's way. You see trouble, run away, you know, get into trouble. Um, always remain positive, put out that positive energy. Because myself, I'm not perfect, nobody's perfect. But on a day to day basis, I try to practice to be positive. Um, always give thanks and praise to the Almighty Father because without Him, none of us would have been here to see another day. Um, so give thanks and praise to the Almighty always. Um, what else do my fans do? Continue to support my music and continue to support every other artist that produces um, music from Dominica. I know all of us wouldn't, you know, we, we have our fans, we, well, we, we have our supporters and we have our artists that we like. But don't bash another artist just because you love your artist. We are one Dominica and our population already is not that of a colossal for us to, you know, to, to be hating on, on, on each artist, on each other. Because um, people, they try and create rifts between artists that is not even there, you know? And the, the, the politics of the music is bigger than we, the artist itself, you know? Because day to day we have to fight the, the, the promoters, we have to fight the, sometimes the, the producers, and so sometimes the politics is even bigger than we ourselves. So I advise the fans do not get tied up, in, you know, tied up or mixed up within that politics. Just, just stay supportive of the music, and if they remain positive and supportive of the music, I believe we'll see a, a bigger, a bigger picture, a, 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 a bigger um, spectrum of what you know it is to be Buyo, or what it is, what is Buyo out there to to the wider world. So my fans, stay positive, send a positive energy, love, love and respect, Mr. Benji. All right, you're looking for Mr. Benji, simply go to Facebook and type in Mr. Benji into O, you'll find me on Facebook, or Instagram, Mr. Benji Official on Instagram, or simple, if you just want to be, you know, a casual friend with, not Mr. Benji, but Wayne D. Benjamin, you can follow me on Facebook as well, at Wayne D. Benjamin, so you can check that out. Or, Interested? You can check out www.triplekbandinternational.com. Go on, log on, and you can find out everything you need to know about Mr. Benji and the rest of the band, right? And our music, of course. You can do so, of course, again um, via triplekbandinternational.com. Um, you can do so on. Um, Triple K band on Facebook, you can go on there, or you could send a simply um, email to Geoffrey Joseph, that's J D E O double F R E Y Joseph, that's Geoffrey Joseph at Gmail, and you can book Mr. Benji or book Triple K Band International.